Protein is a powerful macronutrient that can help us to reach our goals. If we want to lose weight, it aids us in reducing our food intake by improving satiety or feelings of satisfaction from a meal. It also helps to ensure the weight we lose is fat and not muscle. If our goal is to build muscle, protein provides the amino acids we need for new growth. There's a limit to how much benefit we can get from protein, which leaves us to figure out how much protein we need to get the most out of it. And this depends on our goal. The recommended daily intake for protein is 0.36 grams per pound of body weight, or 0.8 grams per kilogram. This might be okay for a younger, sedentary man, but this number does not allow for goals like building muscle or losing weight. Nor does it recognize that as people get older, they lose protein sensitivity and require more protein to accomplish the same tasks as when they were younger. So mistake number one is not having the right amount of protein to reach your goal. I recently completed a weight loss phase, reducing my body fat to around 10%. I'm maintaining this now until Christmas. Then, I'll increase my calories and focus on muscle growth over the next year. Our protein needs are different depending on whether we're focusing on losing weight or building muscle. They did a study looking at athletes, with the oldest being 40 and the youngest 18. They split them into two groups and put them in a 40% calorie deficit, which is high especially for athletes who are typically already lean. One group had one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight, and the other had 2.3 grams per kilogram, or just over one gram per pound. This worked out to 35% of their calories. Remember, athletes are often around six to 13% body fat. After two weeks, they found the low protein group had lost twice the muscle the high protein group did, leading the researchers to recommend a protein intake of a gram per pound or 35% of your daily calories for weight loss. Most of us aren't athletes, but the best way to lose body fat is through a combination of diet and exercise. And if we're as lean as a typical athlete, we're probably not trying to lose weight. Still, having 30 to 35% of your daily calories being protein for weight loss is a good rule of thumb, leaving plenty of room for the other macronutrients we need. What if we're lean enough and want to build muscle? Do we need more or less protein? Fortunately, they did a meta-analysis on 49 different studies that included 1,863 participants, determining that a protein intake greater than 1.6 grams per kilogram, which converts to 0.73 grams per pound of body weight, didn't build any more muscle. So based on this meta-analysis and the previous study, we need less protein when we're building muscle than when we lose fat. This is because protein isn't the preferred energy source for the body. It will use carbohydrates first, sparing our muscle mass and freeing up the protein we've eaten to be applied to new growth. If you're overweight, you might be somewhat insulin resistant and not using carbs properly. Once you're lean, the body starts to function more efficiently and carbohydrates become an essential part of your nutrition plan. Of course, I'm talking about whole food carb sources and not processed junk. You shouldn't be in a calorie surplus to build muscle unless you're already lean. Then you can use the 0.73 grams of protein per pound of body weight as a guide. This works out to approximately 25% of your daily calories. As an over 50 man, I keep mine at 30% to help offset any anabolic resistance I might have developed. This brings up the next mistake people make. They only track protein intake. All the macronutrients play a role in not only good health, but muscle growth. Again, to use carbs for an example, they help reduce cortisol, a hormone that can cause muscle breakdown, the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. Fats are important for good hormone function, and being aware of what your overall calories are will tell you if you're going to gain or lose weight. To better understand what foods you should be eating for proper hormone function, watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.